You were smoking hot. You know that, right? <laughs> was it as good for you as it was for me? Someone's really trying to find me. What if it's Marco? Mom, I don't know why Langston isn't texting me back. Do you think something happened to her? I'm sure Langston is just fine. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, look at Dorian. She does not need anything to upset her anymore today. What she needs is all of her girls around her. I was actually supposed to see my mom last month. Zane was sick, so I canceled. I had a ticket out of here tonight. One day, and I would have been there. And I don't know how she can be dead right now. I don't remember if I told her I loved her. The last time I was on the phone, Zane was pitching a fit and I said I had to go. Then get off fast. I don't remember. Your mother loved you very much. Why, she bragged and bragged about you. She told everybody. What a wonderful daughter she had. That wasn't good enough. I, Kelly, she loved you, honey. She loved you. The same way that I love all of my girls. Oh, my God. What? My mother needs me. Her sister died. Oh, my I'm sorry. No, I shouldn't be here. She needed me and... I shouldn't be here. No, I should no, no. be there. Hey, hey. You didn't do anything wrong. You're not married. You didn't hurt anybody. It's okay. Don't forget this. Hmm. <laughs> when I was with Jason, I was stuck in high school. I wasn't growing or meeting new people. Well, is it really different now? 180. I have so many new friends. I'm going to travel over my breaks. Well, that's good. It's, uh, it's working out for you. Excuse me. Oh. Hey, baby, what's up? Really bad news. What, is it Miss Lawrence again? Do you understand? I know exactly what to do. I'll take care of it. Mm, as you always do with every task I give you. I can always count on you. For a minute, I thought that my grandma had died. My mom did, too. She must have been freaked. <sighs> yeah. Well, uh, what do you need? Do you, do you want me to grab her up and come over? Oh, no, it's so cold outside. Look, I'll bundle her up. All right, she'll be fine. All right, you need your family together. Of course I do, but I don't want to spread her germs either. No, we're really okay. All the Kramers are hanging together. You always do. So how's our little princess doing? Uh, fussy, but okay. Hey, call me if you need me. Okay, I will. Hey, I love you. I love you too. Okay, sorry. Uh... Okay, inner city um, dream projects. Uh, why don't we compare those two in New York City with... <laughs> I'm sorry, again. I was, she's probably 13. Are you sure you don't want to learn keg stands? It might be a little easier. You know, you, uh, you were probably right, but uh, I like this life. I can see that. But the next time we need to work, let's meet at my dorm. My roommate's always at her boyfriend's. Langston, where were you? Oh, Langston, I'm so sorry. I should have been here. I'm so sorry about your sister. Oh. Hey, Marco. How much for service? Get in line. Oh, man, come on. I just had a killer workout. I'm starving. Yeah, well, strength training, cardio? Both. 
Uh, new routine. It's so good, it's sick. It's hard to lose someone you love. And you know that better than anybody. That's your, uh, That's your cousin, Kelly. I'm so sorry you have to meet her under these circumstances. attending to. I mean, just like your mother did. And, and you know, it just seemed like no matter what I did, it just never was enough. But it was. You did right by your mother, sweetheart. You did. You did right by her. Thank you. I made some calls. How are you holding up? Whether or not my sister Melinda died of a heart attack, it was most definitely not of natural causes. Mitch was behind it. And we all have to be on our guard. You land view. There's not enough hooch in the whole wide world to take the edge off of Mitch Lawrence. 